Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. A few days ago, I was on Foxy LV's Instagram and I noticed a new Samur BB. S Sormer? <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But this is a bag that has been around for quite some time. It's actually a bag that was designed in the 80s and they've never done a BB version before. So I thought I'd talk about the Sormer bag today because I didn't actually know much about it myself. So I had to do a little bit of research and upon watching a few YouTube videos and reading a few articles about it i thought i'd share what i've learned today and let me know guys is this new some more bb something that you're interested in now on foxy lv um there is only a picture of the back of the bag which is rather annoying because i couldn't find any other pictures of the front of the bag but i'm sure we'll see it soon but i'm gonna assume the front has a similar buckle to the original so summer bag the original style was actually double-sided so it had like two bags at the side and it was like stitched together in the middle and you could actually unfold it by detaching the buckles at the side and yeah it was like kind of like a double bag look uh this bag was inspired by a village north of france i believe called Samore, which was famous for its horse riding schools and this bag kind of looks like a saddle when you open it up so it's you know just a messenger style bag i think it became really popular again around 2010 came in the size 30 the 35 and the 43 so rather big sizes actually but i remember messenger bags used to be quite popular and larger bags were also quite popular around 2010 i actually made a video about this um a few weeks ago about big bags and how they used to be the it thing and yeah smaller bags were just like not as uh trendy at the time so they've never really done a mini some more bag from what i've researched my own research they've only really done the summer bag in monogram they've done it in mini lin which was kind of a fabric that they did um in the early 2000s and they've also done it in this perforated version uh which i assume was seasonal i thought that they did a multicolor summer bag maybe people could special order that but i yeah i've just done a bit of googling and i don't think they ever did a multicolor version of this bag but it's quite a, you know, it's kind of made for traveling. It's like a messenger everyday bag. It reminds me a little bit of the Gypsy Air bag, which also was quite trendy in the 2010s. You know, it's a similar messenger style. This is the Gypsy Air 28. Uh, so the Samur, the smallest size you could get is size 30. So, um, yeah, apparently uh, the village it was inspired by, Samur, was actually the birthplace of Coco Chanel as well, which is quite interesting because she was quite inspired by horse riding and with her designs as well. Like, um, the quilting on the bags was inspired by, uh, was it horse riding jackets, I believe? And, you know, uh, for some reason, a lot of designer brands are inspired by equestrian attributes, like same as Gucci, Hermes, obviously. Yeah, and now it seems Louis Vuitton. So, you know, this whole saddlebag look, it's still very trending. A lot of ba brands are inspired by saddles for some reason. So the Samur bag, it's coming in at a good time. And now that smaller bags are still very much trending, I think it's a good idea that they're doing the Samur bag again. So as I said, it was kind of a bag that was released during the 80s, then discontinued, then reintroduced around 2010, 2012. And they had a few limited edition variations. Then it was discontinued again and brought back in 2017. And I think they did an updated version. They changed a few features of it. Obviously, the canvas was probably different. The hardware was different because over the years, I think they changed the hardware from like brass to just like metal uh gold coated hardware and the ca you know they've changed the monogram canvas a lot over the years so if you get a vintage Samur bag from like the 80s i'm sure it will have a completely different feel to one from 2010 or 2017. Um, now i looked on the louis vuitton website today and i was i really couldn't recall whether they still had a Samur bag available and it seems like the monogram one is one that they 
no longer produce but they do have a men's version which doesn't have that double-sided thing happening like the double bag uh thing where it's got the buckle it's a very interesting design and actually a lot of people used to either wear the samur bag uh crossbody or they would loop the strap around and make it a shoulder bag which i th thought i'd actually look quite cool Anyways, um, so they have a men's version, which is in a monogram eclipse version, but it doesn't have that double, it's kind of just like a variation of a messenger bag. But now they're going to have a Samur BB, which is a mini size, and it seems like it still has that like two compartment thing happening from like this backwards picture. I don't know what the front is going to look like, but we'll get to that in a sec. So it's got a back pocket, and then you can see on the sides it's got the same kind of like buckle clips. So it's kind of like it, it might still do that thing where you can like make it look like more of a saddle but i'm not completely sure you know it doesn't it would be cool if they did the double-sided buckle thing like the two-faced bag because i thought it was actually quite a cool design and i actually used to have a chanel bag that was two-sided and it reminds me a little bit of that i, I kind of like the I, I think it's just like a quirky design element to have like a double-faced bag but it seems like in this bb version they've just simplified it made it have a back pocket and I'm going to assume the front part has the same buckly thing, but perhaps they've modernized it and made it like a magnet clip, you know, similar to some of the backpacks that Louis Vuitton are doing. They have like a buckle, but nobody can be bothered completely buckling the bag anymore. So they probably do like a magnetic clip, which you can clip down. I'm assuming. Now it looks like this version has a top handle and a crossbody strap i'm guessing doesn't look like it has the guitar strap which is very refreshing to see because we're all bloody over that guitar strap <laughs> well i know i am i just i don't like how the guitar strap says louis vuitton all over it i actually don't mind the idea of a fabric strap but i just don't like the way louis vuitton does theirs because it just says the brand all over it and i just think it's a little bit it can clash with an outfit like you know sometimes for example today i'm wearing like a furuchi t-shirt if i had that strap on saying louis vuitton it's like i look like a fashion victim it's just like too many brands but if it's like a, a fabric strap i kind of look like it just looks better to me anyway but that's just a personal taste thing but yeah it seems like this one might not come with a guitar strap which is nice because i know a lot of people prefer just the classic like thin leather strap and yeah i wonder now that they're doing the mini Samur bag whether they're also going to release like a Samur 30 like they used to or a uh, size 34 I think was the old style or whether they might do like uh, a 28 size or a 25 size like this is a 28 centimeter maybe it would be good if they also offered a Samur in like a small size like something like this because I do see the messenger style bags coming back in fashion and like also hobo bags are coming back in fashion and you know we've seen a lot of hobo bags over the last few months and I still think they're going to be going strong so the whole messenger bags and hobo bags they'll definitely like something that was on trend like 10 years ago and you know the last few years we've been really into these like mini crossbody bags but I think it's starting to like the silhouette might be changing again and well I guess this is a mini crossbody bag but the silhouette is yeah it's a messenger bag which wasn't as on trend um you know until recently again um and you know similarly I guess the Hermes did a mini gypsy air bag as well like this was a bag that was very popular around the time that the biggest Samur was popular and you know last year Hermes did a mini gypsy air, which is also like a mini messenger bag so yeah it's a style that is kind of like coming back again I suppose and another really cute bag that Louis Vuitton has just recently released is the Nano Alma um in some epi leather variations and this is a style that Louis Vuitton hadn't regularly had like they did some seasonal Nano Almas uh over the years like I used to have an owl one actually which was really cute but we've never really seen like a one with a detachable strap like this so I think it's really cute that they're like these dome shaped bags are also coming back in fashion and like these mitt so yeah mini bags are still in fashion to be honest but it's just interesting to see um the silhouettes that are coming back on trend like those like messenger bags hobo bags dome shaped bags they're all very relevant at the moment um but anyway let me know what you guys think of the Samur bag and I really hope that we can see a picture of the front of the bag soon I just wanted to make a quick video about that today um have you ever owned a Samur bag or um was it a bag that you're ever interested in for me it always looked a little bit like 
bulky but I do kind of like how unique the design is and how many elements it has to it. Definitely the BB version is a lot more simplified to the original design and I'm going to assume if you want to pick up a Samur bag pre-loved they're probably going for really good deals at the moment so you could always shop pre-loved. I mean I have made a few videos recently about being cautious about shopping pre-loved because of all the um, counterfeit bags we have in the world now and you know authentication is a bit questionable as well but I think it would be kind of safe if you picked up a vintage Samur bag because yeah they're probably easier to authenticate and you know I wouldn't be surprised if Louis Vuitton reissue a bigger Samur bag as well seeing that they've now got this BB size so anyways thanks for listening to my blubby video today hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one bye